Hi, welcome to the part four of this playlist. We are looking at AWS Solution Architect Professional Real Certification Questions. So the chances of same or similar questions coming in the exam is very high. Please focus on the concepts. Please hit the subscribe and the like button. All attempts are made to make this content as accurate as possible. For previous questions, please refer parts one to four of this video series. I mean one to three of this playlist. Let's look at this question. So we have to tell which one of these is false. That is not true. So A says the direct connect locations in US can access public resources in any US region. So this box you see, this whole box is US. And suppose we have three regions okay and what it says is suppose this is your direct connect location then can you still access public resources here or here yes you can this statement is true see once you are on AWS any public resources you can access so this may not be the answer here because we want to choose what is false and not what is correct. Now this says you can use a single direct connection to build multi-region service. So you have a single region where you have this connection and that will work to access this and this as well, which is correct. This is right. So we want to select which is false and not which is true. So this is wrong. Now third one says any data transfer out of a remote region is built at location of your direct connect. That means if I have a direct connect here, so it will be built at these rates. So my understanding is by remote region it means probably on-premises and that's why I have used on-premises here and any data movement uh, inside cloud like this way is free uh, outwards this through this like this is not free this is not free this is free so hence C looks incorrect to me and since we want to choose what is not true this is not true for me but let's also look at D. So D says that you can also use VPN like from here till here. You can also use VPN, which is correct. Yes, you can use direct connect. You can use VPN. So this is true. Since D is true for us, this is wrong because we want to select what is not true. So this is my final answer. So this direct connect, it can create dedicated network connection to AWS. So I just wanted to throw this documentation also here. And these locations are available worldwide so that you can make connections close to where you need them. And see, this is fantastic. You get 100 Gbps speeds, plus it is secured because you can do IPsec encryption and MacSec encryption as well. And you can set a dedicated connection from your on-premises to the AWS. You can set dedicated connection using 1 Gbps, 10 Gbps or 100 Gbps Ethernet ports, Ethernet ports. So that's all I wanted to explain around direct connect. See, direct connect, the billing happens based on port hour pricing. So these are the port hour pricing for 1 Gbps. It is this much 10 is high and 100 gbps is very high let us look at this question so this question is asking about the max amount of data points you can use in a put metric request now what is so see put metrics why you use because you want to add this metrics to your cloudwatch and if cloudwatch doesn't have that metrics it will create the metric now why see by default you know there are some standard metrics that you can capture so just like CPU utilization, suppose you have your EC2 instance. Huh? So by default, if you plug CloudWatch, it will monitor CPU utilization. This is one metric. 
this read ops is another matrix similarly there are so many other metrics okay now what if you want to you know use something which is not a part of it suppose you are installing some new software from say microsoft and it is on ec2 instance and you want to link it so you want to create a custom metric so you can create custom metrics and you can publish it this these are the steps you can create high resolution metrics with standard resolution as well as high resolution and the granularity can be one second or it can be one minute also remember with cloudwatch the problem comes is with the storage if you are going to capture the metrics every one second and if there are say 100 or 200 or 500 servers so imagine every second it is capturing so much of data so where will you store it you can use the cheap storage of s3 but you will have to understand does it make sense to store for a long period of time and when you are creating custom metrics you can use this put metric data call no? and here we are getting quizzed what is that maximum limit for you know that put metric request so maximum amount of data points means how many metrics maximum how many metrics you can do in one go so i have a fantastic documentation here you see this you can do no more than 20 different metrics okay and the put metric has the limit is 40 kb in size for http post requests and that is what our question is also asking it is for http requests and in each request you can send no more than 20 different metrics so you can only create 20 custom metrics in one go you can put you can create 100 500 different metrics but in one put request you can put 20 at one go so this is my final answer let's look at the next one so the question is talking about creating a pi ops volume okay so this should be provision iops so when we talk about volume no always remember we are talking about ebs volumes okay now provision iops this is the highest performance ebs volume very good if you need excellent performance use this but make sure use it only if your applications are critical where scale up is required and it is very urgent for them or very necessary for them see now if i see the documentation no uh, i can see that for high performance provision iops ssd volumes okay we have the ratio uh, as 50 is to 1 for io1 volumes and 500 is to 1 for io2 volumes now the question is very ambiguous whether they are referring to io1 or io2 so my understanding is if they have not specified that we should assume io1 and it should be 50 is to 1 now this question was an old question and i'm pretty sure in the recent times what they have done is they have added uh, a new option as 50. so my understanding is this should be 50. but if you have a different opinion and if you think there is some uh, misunderstanding in my concept please do feel free to drop in your comments so please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button please do not forget to visit there are several playlists related to cloud certifications azure or gcp aws make sure you do not forget to access the aws thumb rules playlist that will help you clear your concepts so those thumb rules are specifically linked with specific questions real questions so it is not a waste of time like you are reading the documentation it's not like that they are targeted to help you clear the exam let us revise what we covered in this part this is one question this is the next one and this is the third one that we covered so this will help you prepare for exam you can directly go if you are revising it you can directly go to the end of the video and look for the questions and answers so this brings us to the end of part four we covered these topics please focus on the concepts that is getting explained here see you in the next part